Okay, today I'm going to make a very quick video on how to use VB1 in Cubase or Nuendo to create a baseline. And I'm going to use the new Sony Oxford plugins as well, which are really cool, I think. Okay, obviously, first thing we need to do is get the VB1 up. A track for that. You'll notice I'm using Cubase 4, but it's the same in Cubase SX3 or Nuendo, whichever. I'm just going to make a little two-bar loop. Okay, basic side trans bass line. I'm just going to um, ramp it up to 145. Cool. Right, I'm just going to import a kick drum. Okay, I've imported my um, kick drum into the audio pool. Ta da! As we create an audio track. And then bring the pull back up and then make sure I'm just going to right click on that, go insert into project, that cursor, awesome. Let's get rid of that, magnify that a bit just so we can see what we're doing. Right, let's tidy this up a bit. Let's just make this a wee bit wider, I think. Maybe some of this. Maybe just maybe that one more. Right, let's just take that off, see what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Okay, we are working at this magnification. Right. Guess I better turn that kick drum down a bit. Okay, so there we go. Um, kick drum, VP1. Okay, obviously it sounds total crud. Um, I know what we're going to do is just make the all important adjustments to VB1. Now, when it comes up, it always comes up under this basics, basic bass. First thing to do is move them two down and up the volume. You should hear a difference straight away. Excellent. Right, now we need to EQ it, that and the kick. I'm not going into any of this um, in depth. I'm just going to show you how it's done and how to use it. Just how to use this. That's the most important thing. As long as that's there, that's there on basic bass. Up the volume, and then it's just a case of EQ in it. And I'm going to use the um, Sonux stuff, which should be here. I did used to like the REQ6 from um, uh, Waves, but I find this is even more accurate, which is great. I'm just messing around with the EQ here to get the sound that I like. Okay, 
it seems to sound alright this end. Obviously, these settings aren't the settings. Um, it's obviously going to change that bass line, that bass sound just sounds good to me um, in direct relation to the way I've got my room set up and um, the monitors that I'm using and um, where I'm sitting in relation to my monitors etc etc so it just sounds good to me uh, don't use these settings, I'm just showing you what to do, just mess around, do whatever you can so what we got now so that's a damn sight better than um, that can do to the kick. Same again. And remember, don't think that because I'm doing these settings, you've got to do these settings. These are just directly r related to me in this time, at this moment. So, um, do what sounds right. That's it. It's that quick. Obviously, as I said, it's just a quick kind of demo. Don't use the settings I used. Use the use the tools in that fashion, but use your ears and get your own sound. Um, that's that sounds okay to me. Um, sounds a damn sight better than that, don't you think? Probably sounds a little bit thin. That's what's wrong. These things are funny because it's only on the 6 dB range here. It's difficult to get the sound right. You've got to keep changing it to there somehow. get the drift. So that's it. That's making, we're using VB1 to make a bass line, or a bass sound in Cubase. 